Yes, hello and welcome back to another video here on the channel. We are we're in Weymouth. We've come to Weymouth. We've done this last year, the same kind of mega trip that we did last year. We're going to start here at Bowley's Cove. They've got a, a couple of attractions here. They've got one of the UK's best ghost trains, in my opinion, and they've got some dodgems. And it's it's mostly juvenile rides, but it's just up the, the up the road from the pavilion where there's um, more fairs and more attractions. So we thought we'd stop here, then make our way down to the pavilion, the seafront, and do um do the fairs down there. So yeah, join us today, won't you? for this little mega trip, Libby, Weymouth trip. You come last year, do you remember? No. No, but yeah, she did come last year. We did do this exact same trip, so go check that vlog out. This one's gonna be a little bit different because um, Dan is in town. So yeah, I mean, here we are, there we are at Bodie's Cove now. It's a tiny little amusement park. It is really small, it doesn't warrant its own vlog, so I'm gonna put a couple in the same video. Um, we've got all the, the rides there. Do wristband, three hour wristband is um, 12 99 and that includes the soft, soft play. Tokens are a pound, 12 tokens for a tenner. Not bad value, and there's a little bit here, mainly for the little ones, like I said, the thing I want to do mostly is the ghost train. It's one of my favorites, it's a static one. Libby, you coming on the ghost train? Yes, sir, we're in now. It looks like everything's up and running. The ghost train, you have to buy your tokens from the um, the arcade, if I remember rightly. You've got the super duper dodgems behind us, and that's probably all that we'll do. The dodgems and the ghost train. So we'll go and find out what, how much the tokens are. I think the dodgems are probably um, free tokens of cars, something like that. So here, we'll go get some tokens, get some ghost train vouchers, and let's go. Exciting, I love this place, even though it's a kids' park. Sam, you're really avoiding the camera, aren't you? She's like ducking and diving and all that other way. We'll make this the first stop, the incredible ghost train. You have to buy your tokens from the arcade. Here we go then. Right, can I have two ghost train tokens please? And how much are the dodgems? They're three tokens each. Can I have three tokens for that as well please? Thank you. Thank you. Two ghost train tokens. Yeah, we got three, um, three dodgem tokens for the dodgems. There you go, lovely stuff. Yeah, we've got our ghost train tokens now. It's like 250 a pop, so not too bad, really. Again, like I've said this before when we vlogged here, this, this ghost train just doesn't fit the park. It's, it's, it's a kid's park. They've got dodgems and that's it, and a load, a load of juveniles. Um, this ghost train is literally one of the scariest in the country. It's fantastic. I just hope all the effects are working. So we've got our two tokens for the ride. Libby's down there on the, on the grabbers. Um, I'm waiting up here for the ghost train. Yeah, um, plenty to do here in Weymouth if you are coming down for the day. Like I said, if you time it right, you can get Danters on the um, on the pavilion, and you've got like Alexander Gardens, which is another junior park. Not much there, but again, it's the little ones. But you've got an SPF feeder drop tower. You've got um, some dodgings, I believe, like a little a kids Miami that made me ill last year, and you have a really nice carousel. So there's loads to do in Weymouth if you if you time it right. Like like August, August is a really good month to come because they have all the different fun fairs along the seafront. And this is here all year round. So, uh, Libby's coming, so we'll get you, get you on the ghost train in a minute. It's coffee. You excited, Libs? I mean, yeah. Good old classic scary ghost train, Libs. You can't beat it. I'll just close my eyes. Don't close your eyes. Why? Here you go. Here's your token. They're closed, nice token. One token. Two. Still waiting for an operator. Wait about five minutes. I'm not sure where everyone is. It's quite quiet at the moment, considering it's like just 
10 o'clock, I suppose it's just open. We left um, we, yeah, we left at 8 in the morning. It, it takes about an hour and a half to get to Weymouth, and traffic is an absolute nightmare. What? Yeah. What? You woke me up at 7. I know, because I wanted to get down early, because it's Weymouth, it's a holiday destination, it's the summer holidays, traffic is really bad. Cheers, dude. Ghost train is absolutely incredible, isn't it? So good. Two pound fifty as well. What a bargain! Oh, hello. Oh, it's dark in here. Uh, oh, whoa. Beetlejuice. Ah, oh, here we go. No audio. Yeah, so that was the um, the ghost train here at Bowley's Cove in Weymouth. Absolutely incredible. A few scenes towards the end um, weren't working, sadly. The Exorcist girl and the Beetlejuice audio wasn't working. <laughs> apart from that, really, really top-notch ghost train. Like I said, apart from the, a couple of effects that are out, it's one of the best in the UK, in my personal opinion, here at Fantasy Island, down in um, Bowley's Cove. Definitely worth a trip.
you know, if you're looking for something to do. Libby kept her eyes shut the entire time. Oh, Did you open them? Yeah. Shaping her eyes, I'm really impressed. What do you reckon? It's good. It's good ghost train, isn't it? Yeah, there's just a few effects in there that sadly wasn't working. I'm still waiting for Sam. She's gone off to get me a coffee. I don't know where she's gone. She went in there, but I looked in there and I can't find her. She's disappeared, her. she's done a runner. Right, um, I think that we're going to do the Super Duper Dodgems now. I've got the tokens and that will be it here. Then we'll go down to um, Alexander Gardens. But um, yeah, I really like it, Ghost Train. Really like it. Whoa. We just had a really nice coffee on the little cafe, seating area overlooking the sea, beautiful. Um, I had a cappuccino, spot on that was. Libby didn't have anything. We are now. We could have had a milkshake. Mummy. Mummy didn't get you anything. Blame mummy. He's starving me. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna jump on the super duper dodgems now. I think they're free tokens to cast, so we're gonna share one because you know money's tight and all. And then we're gonna be heading up Alexandra Gardens. Lap bar dodgems, lap bar dodgems. Ah, you driving? The pedals on your side. No. We know the we know the rules. Don't know about you. Oi, here we go, Libs. There were away only three cars on the track, so we try not to be too lethal. Crazy racist here at uh, Foley's Cove. It's got a scarred special light up pole. Oh. Yeah, Libby, we have to go a little bit gentle. There's only three of us on the track. But they are really nice dodgems. All the light and package. Yeah, this isn't going to be the most exciting dodging POV in the world. So, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll cut it short, shall we, Libs? Oi! I'll try and hit, do a couple of crashes and then we'll turn you off. Look at these, little, oh, a little bump. Is this exciting? Mm. There will be a view drive because we'll be all over the place. You get these, little, uh, uh. oh, I got bumped. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't looking where I was going. I hit the ghost car. Libby, oh. where are you going? Quick drive. Drive, Libby. Drive. Drive. That's it. You're getting the hang of this. Where are you going, Libby? That's not me, that's Libby. Where are you going with that? Where are you going, Libby? <laughs> this is more fun. No, come on, drive. You gotta get you gotta get used to it. Practice. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it now here at um, Burley's Cove, Fancy Island. Very small vlog here, but we are going to incorporate Alexander Garden, so we're going to head there now and bring you that. And the sun's coming out here in Weymouth. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, it's bright. Yeah, we had a really good um, hour or so in there. Had a coffee, done a couple of rides. Get yourself here. Like I said, they do do wristbands, tokens, everything you could possibly want. From Fantasy Island. See you next year. Oh, that hill killed me. Absolutely killed me. Right, find the car. I'm done.
here we are then at the other end of Weymouth, down near the pavilion. Um, about 15 minutes trying to park in the pavilion car park. <laughs> Absolutely rammed. Luckily, we got a spot. Um, you just have to persevere and drive around aimlessly for like 15 minutes, and you know it pays off. Perseverance pays off. So yeah, I've got to go and get a ticket, and then we're going to head up into Alexandra Gardens. It's quite chilly down here, though, it lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Put my hoodie on. What are you like? <laughs> Dead. Libby's first Super Bowl. I'm not going on that. You are? I'm not going on that. Now. Come on. Look at it. Here we go. Weymouth Pavilion Fun Fair. Edward Danters Fair. Here we are now down the other end of Weymouth. We've got um, Edward Danters Fair in town. They've got rides here and all along the seafront. So we've got a booster over there. Um, Starflyer. It's quite windy, so hopefully the booster is running. You get some incredible views there of the sea up, up in the booster. Uh, I've never been on a booster on the seafront. Oh, I have. Brighton. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? But yeah, at um, this end of the fair, we got like Craig Dant as Super Bowl, Lee Dant as Superstar, Edward Dant as Twist. So we'll probably jump in all three of them. The prices, what well, I've seen, are about three fifty for those. I'm not sure about the booster. Probably like six quid. Isn't it? But um, they're sending it now. Quite busy down here as well. Like I said, it's a prime location, this right on the seafront. Beautiful. <laughs> so the first ride is going to be the superstar. I'm going to jump on. I love this machine. This is Lee Danners. I've not seen it for a while, so looking forward to getting on this. Libby's not coming on. That's why mummy's here, so she can like, keep an eye on Libby, because Libby probably won't ride a lot of these rides. But I'm going on it. Super, um, superstar. Yeah, we did do a build-up video of this uh, a couple of months ago. I'll link it here. Right, go and sit with mummy. I'm going on. How on, lift, Come here. Let's take this. Yeah, so super, super, super busy seafront here. Um, I'm going to do a couple of rides. Like I said, I'm going to do a massive Weymouth attractions vlog. So we've done Bowley's Cove. do a few rides down here with Edward Downer's Fun Fair. Then here up Alexander Gardens just up there. So yeah, a bumper edition vlog today here from Weymouth Seafront. I just cannot be bothered to put it in separate videos, so I'm gonna do that massive vlog for you guys. But yeah, we'll get in now, um, do the superstar, do the super bowl, do the twist. Let's go. I'll right, so give this camera to Sam to hold while I go on the rides. So here we go then, I'm the superstar. Got a discount, three quid for this for me. Down to the superstar, stunning, stunning machine here on Weymouth Seafront. It's great with the sea there. Here we go then, on the superstar. Beautiful view of the uh, cedar. It's great. There we go, hold on tight. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, three pound fifty a ride here on the seafront. Not too bad. Premium prices, premium location. Here we go then. Go upside down. Oh, such a 
face. Such a beast. Lombard. <laughs> yeah, brilliant right there. Always top notch cycle, top notch machine. On to the next one. You coming on, you're paying? No. It's your pocket money. Yeah, Libby's coming on. First time on the Super Bowl for Libby. Pocket money, because I will have my birthday money. True, true. You, you can pay for this ride then. And plus, granddad gave me £10 for free. So you're paying? No. So yeah, we are going out on Craig Danner's Super Bowl. Libby's first time, Libby's first time. Oh yeah, you're right. It's two, please. <laughs> Thank you. First time for Libby on Craig Danter's Super Bowl. Let's go. Excited, nervous, all the emotions. You'll love it, you'll love it. Yeah, look at that, the sea in the beach right there. Just a seven pound for me and Libby. So you are paying premium prices. Let's go wait for an empty seat. We might, we might not get an empty seat. Oh. Alright, we're on the next ride now. We're on the next ride. No seats available. So you have to stand and watch it and realise what you've done. The mistake you've made. No, you haven't. You'll love it, you'll love it, you'll love it. <laughs> yeah, this is off to a festival soon. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is off to a festival. There you go. Cheers, dude. There we go then, Libby's first ever Super Bowl. Yeah, this is Craig Danner's machine, absolutely stunning. Excited or nervous or a little bit of both? Got the old butterflies, it's like a waltz that goes in the air. You'll love it, you'll love this ride. I don't know about me, I was on a Superstar, and I'm not, I'm not eating lunch yet, and I feel a little bit, you know. Um, so I'm gonna have to go and get some food in a minute. We've got a twist here to do as well, which is Edward Danner's, we'll do that. I wanna do oxygen down there, just try and see if it's running quite windy. Hopefully oxygen is running. I want to do that because the views are going to be stunning. So yeah, come on the Super Bowl with us. Libby's first ever Super Bowl. She's hardcore. She is hardcore. Proper hardcore. Oh my God, it's fast. Yeah, Craig's not running it today. Let's see what kind of cycle we get, Libby. Super Bowl, not many in the country, not really. Whoa, hold on, Libby. You feel it? Oh, hold on. What do 
What do you reckon? It's going to be a double thumb from Libby. Or maybe not, Libby! <laughs> I don't know about that. You don't know? Double thumbs? I do not Single know. thumbs? Maybe. This might be a thumbs down ride. The game over. It is! cycle as well. Oh, you hear the engine is revving up. Whoa! That's fast. Hold on, Libby. Oh, real burst of power. <laughs> Why? She's caught me. Oh, we're coming down, Libby. That's it. Two and a half minutes seems to be the uh, the cycles there. Which isn't too bad. It's busy. They need to get people on and off quickly. Two and a half minutes is about right. What do you reckon? Yeah. Double thumbs or do I owe you a fiver? You're just saying it so you get five quid, aren't you? You really liked it. Or is it game over? Yeah. Said about game over for Libby, it could be game over for me, that. Bloody hell. Woo! It hit, hit me for six. Awesome ride there on Craig Dan is uh, stunning Super Bowl. Game over? I knew it. Cheers, my man. That's all right. Dog down there. Yeah, Edward down the Sizzler. This is one of the fastest I've ever done. I'm not sure what kind of cycle we're going to get today, but uh, we'll get on this in a minute. Sorry. Right. How much is this going to cost me? Another seven quid. Seven quid a ride. What's going on? I'm still owe me a bike. I guess I'm the biggest person. Ugh! Beautiful Brian package. Yeah, this is only the second time I've ever done this twist, believe it or not. Are you ready for a fast one? Hopefully. But there's a lot of kids on here, so you might get a family cycle. Beautiful. Look at the Sizzler sign, Libby. Top sign is beautiful. Not a single bulb out. And everyone's running it himself there. Beautiful, that. Hold on tight, here she goes. No squashing. Yeah, sorry if this has been a bit of a rush this bit. I've just literally gone ride to ride to ride. Beautiful. Here we go. Oh no, I told you about the squashing. I think the location of this fair is probably the best ever with the beach just right there. It's beautiful. I love Weymouth personally. No squashing. It's a stone beach. Yes. Mummy's livid about that, isn't she? Yeah, I am. Oh, there we go. Slide to the end and squash your friends. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Like I said, it might be a bit of a family cycle, but we don't mind that. Oh. <laughs> He still had the booster to do. The booster is running down there. It's a bit of a walk, you hear that? That means speed. Power, speed. Woo!
Right, I don't normally do product reviews on the channel, but I've been sent something awesome, so I wanted to share it. No, it's not a lightsaber. It's a tripod. A Tomb Tech. A Tomb Tech. A Tomb Tech, right. Like I said, I don't normally do like like reviews on the channel. I get offered so much stuff you email like sponsorship deals, partnership deals. I don't, I don't, I don't accept any of them, but this company wants to send me this amazing tripod to try out. And if, if people want to send me stuff that enhances the channel, then I'm all up for it. So this tripod is amazing. Just what I wanted, a nice portable tripod that I can stand up anywhere and get time lapses. This thing is great, absolutely incredible. So really impressed with the item. Um, links below if you want to buy it, you get like a 15% discount. Um, yeah, I'll show you what it does, but it's basically really, really good for like portable time lapses. It's a big selfie stick. It folds up into into like a, a lightsaber. It's Bluetooth as well, and it all and it all folds down into one tiny, tiny portable tripod. From this. That, that is incredible. Don't be rude. We are going to make our way round to Alexander Gardens now. A few little junior rides there. I might jump on the old drop and twist, which is the SBF Visa drop tower, maybe the carousel. Um, it used to be a quite a ride. I think it's gone up. Not happy about that. We have inflation, bloody inflation. Right, yeah, we'll take you there now. Having a really good day here in Weymouth. Love it, love it. It's like a mini little holiday, and I'm right in the road. All right, calm down. Yeah, so we're not going to go on anything here in Alexander Gardens because it's absolutely ram. Libby just wasted five quid in the grabbers. Um, they're rigged. They're what? They're rigged. <laughs> they are rigged. So yeah, that is our time at Alexandra Gardens. Literally, we've just been in the arcade, spent a fiver on machines. And that's it. Um, it's like a fun card system now where you like preload it with credits and tap to pay. We're not going to bother with this because there's only like a carousel here and a drop tower that I'll do anyway. So we're really not going to bother. Carousel is absolutely stunning. I'll show you that now. Got a really nice um, area here, right on the seafront. Got a roller coaster, a helter skelter, juveniles. Really, really nice selection of stuff here, and it's right on the sand as well. Awesome, awesome stuff. How many? Two. We need that. Four, six. Right, we're doing it. How to scout, we're out on the beach. Me and Libby have been made to come on with her in case she gets stuck. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Really nice how to scout at this though. Really nice. Yeah, we've got our mats. I'll go first. You go first, yeah? Yeah, you gotta go first, then if you get stuck, I'll come down and rescue you. Yeah, you get some good views up here. Lovely little place on the beach, this. They've got a coaster cred as well. God, how high is this? 
I'm out of breath, Libby. This is really high, but you get some good views. Don't look. It's not that way. Look, look, look at that for a view. Beautiful views there, Libby. <laughs> wow. Caterpillar? No, go gate. Go. I, don't I don't think that's a caterpillar. Yeah. Go gator. Come on then, let's go. Roller coaster on the beach. Look at that. the seafront where you've got oxygen and the star fire. I'm just going to do the, uh, the oxygen now, I don't know how much it is, I'll tell you in a minute. Probably about six quid I reckon. My battery pack died on my other camera. Yeah, we are now going to go on oxygen, the ride I've done many, many times, but I've never actually done it on the seafront. Looking forward to this. Beast, because you get some good views out there. It's going to buy a token, which is five pound. Bargain, five pound, what a bargain. Craig's uh, oxygen. There goes the floor. We're going to get some really good views up here. I'm completely solo for this one, so I'm only bricking it here. Oh Christ. Should have sat the other side. Better views. Look at that for a view though. Starflyer and the sea. And that is Weymouth. Beautiful. This is the worst part of any booster. If you've done one before, you'll know exactly what I'm going through right now. Staring directly down at the ground. Yeah, there's no on the other side. Beautiful, beautiful views here though. Hurry up and send it. Come on, send it. <laughs> Christ, there we go then. Right next to the sea, oxygen. 
Oh, I've not done a booster for a while, so it's going to be intense. Oh, Christ. There we go. Oh, straight over. Whoa. There we go. Oh. oh. What an experience by the sea. It's had five quid a ride for this. Not bad at all. I'm going to get both ways. Spot on. Here we go, We're facing the beach. Oh no, not that time. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, over. Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh, I love it. Ride of the day. Ride of the day. Fantastic stuff. Enjoyed that. It's oxygen. Weymouth Seafront. That was Craig Danner's um, Oxygen, like I said, it's a ride I've done many, many, many times, but never on the seafront. I really, really enjoyed that. You've got some really good views there of the beach and stuff. Not that you get much time to enjoy them when you're flipping over. But yeah, really, really, really good ride there. Only five pound as well, which is cheaper than I thought being, like I said, in a prime location. You've got a lot of traffic down there. I didn't expect six quid for that, but it's a five quid bargain. Obviously, I didn't pay because Craig's an absolute legend, so thanks, Craig. So yeah, in terms of rides, I think that's, that's pretty much done. We've covered loads. Like I said, we started way up in Bowley's Cove. We've done Dan's rides down on the pavilion, and now the booster. Maybe he's done a few rides. He's done the beach rides, didn't he? She made me go on the Howard Scouter. I definitely didn't want to. Oh, Libby's fault. I actually did come flying off. Sam should have filmed me coming down. It's like Grease Lightning. Do I fly off? I went a bit too fast. I put my legs up and I like led back on my back and I just had no control over it. And it was quite embarrassing really. Bit of a weird one today, not a traditional fair or theme park. It's like rides scattered all across the seafront. So um, yeah, it's found it a little bit weird, but I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the day. And now we are gonna go and sit on the beach, right love? Yeah. Have a rest, cause my legs hurt. Here we are, just gonna have five minutes now on the beach enjoying the, um, the sand. I did promise sand and we have sand mixed with stone. I'm halfway right, halfway right. I'm getting hot though, it's nice to take my jacket off. Had a really good day here in Weymouth and the weather stayed relatively nice. A bit cloudy, but it's warm, it's warm, it's muggy. Bloody sand everywhere, literally sand in places I didn't know I had. Sand everywhere. Covered in sand. The sand is really sandy. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can 
Um, our day at Weymouth, sorry I've had to switch to the GoPro because my card is full, my camera, I filmed so much footage today. Yeah, it's been a really, really good day. Um, one downside was the Alexander Gardens Park with the drop tower, the carousel. It's basically, uh, we got told, well I got told, got kicked out for filming basically. He said no filming or photos are allowed there, even though there's other people with their phones out filming the gallopers. I had a professional camera, so obviously he took a disliking to that and kicked me out. Fair enough, I did argue with him, I swore a little bit, I got a bit mad. Sam pulled me away, I shouldn't have, but it's just not fair when there's other people there uh, filming and taking pictures. Obviously, I've got a big camera, so yeah, labels me as some kind of predator, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, very, very lit down with that park, considering I filmed a vlog there last year. Disappointed with that, I hate it when that happens, it's not very nice. Um, I completely understand if it's, he said it's private land, which is fair enough. But you have to impl implicate the rules for uh, everyone. But yeah, apart from that, I had a really good, really good day. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit salty about it. it happened about an hour ago, and I'm still a little bit fed up. <laughs> Those things just kind of get you, don't they? But um, had a really, really good day. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip to Weymouth, and we'll see you. Um, we'll see you in the next one, wherever that is. Bye for now. Bye for now.